In this video tutorial, I will be going over the output that was generated from running SIG Profiler Extractor's Quick Start Example program. The Quick Start Example program can be found on the OSF wiki page at the URL below. When we ran the Quick Start Example program, we generated an output directory called Results, and inside of that directory, we have the solution to the two mutational contexts that we ran, which were DBS78 and SPS96, and we also have two text files. The job metadata file has information about the system that we ran the program on, as well as the different input parameters that were passed. And um, this file can be useful for debugging. The seeds file uh, can be passed to the seeds parameter and is used for reproducing runs. The DBS78 and SPS96 directories have similar file structures. So we're just going to go over the SPS96 directory. So. In this directory, we have the all solutions directory and suggested solution directory, as well as three other files. So the first file we're going to look at is the selection plot, which it has a plot for the mean sample cosine distance, as well as the average stability. And we see here at the vertical gray bar that the optimal number of signatures was three. We also have our all solution stat file which has information about all of our solutions. So next we're going to look at the suggested solution and we're going to take a look in the decompose solution directory. So in this directory we have three subdirectories, activities, signatures, and solution stats, as well as two files. So the first file is the de novo map to cosmic SPS 96 file and this file has information about the de novo signatures and the cosmic signatures that compose them. And and the results are visualized in the SBS96 decomposition plots file. So when we open up this file, we see that we have the original de novo signature on the upper left, and then we have the reconstructed signature here on the lower left. And then on the right hand side, we have the cosmic signatures and the percent contribution that each of them makes. So next we're going to go through the activities directory. In here we have our activity plots refit. So this plot shows the number of mutations in each signature um, on the y-axis and the sample name on the x-axis. The colors indicate which signatures were found in each sample. So the next file we're going to look at is our tumor mutational burden plot. This is the tumor mutational burden plot. It is ordered by the mean somatic mutations per megabase and along the x-axis on the bottom is the number of samples plotted over the number of samples included. We have our mutations probability file here, um, but we're going to now take a look in the signatures directory at the SPS96 cosmic plots. In the left corner we have the name of the signature, and in the right corner we have the number of mutations for the signature and the percent indicates what percentage of the total mutations this signature accounts for. So we've now completed our overview of the output from running the Quick Start Example program. If you want to learn more about some of the other output files that we didn't touch on in this video, the wiki page goes into more details there and it has a lot of useful information, so I'll put a link below so you can check that out. Thanks for using SIG Profiler Extractor.